Assalamu alaikum girls. How are you all? I'm not fine. Okay. It's good to hear. After such a long time, I am in contact with you girls again. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I kind so, of miss the class. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I miss the class. I miss you. I miss school. I'm bored at home, yeah? <laughs> you are students. You have studies and all. But for us, think about <laughs> Miss Kishwar says the same thing. Yeah. So let's do it. Why are we? Yes, dear. Yes. Yeah, I couldn't hear you properly. Could you repeat? Miss, why are we studying? What do you mean by that, dear? Because, you know, knowledge is always matters to us. We'll keep on studying. If you go to uh, grade 11, you'll study physics and all. So it will help you. Will not stop studying here. Whatever happens, let's continue. Okay, now listen, guys. Uh, first, you tell me one thing. Uh, okay, I can see uh, Mehreen joined us. Nihat, how are you, girls? Fine. Okay, now, girls, tell me, do you have uh, uh, the February March variant of uh, 2019? Do you have with you? Yes, miss. Okay, yes. So okay so I don't have it with me right now. I have May, June. Six one. Okay, but I want to start from the uh, February March because some uh, difficult questions are also there. So it will be good if you just take a paper later. You February March. Yeah. So Mrs. Fe so Miss, could you please give me two minutes? I need to download it right now. Okay, do it by the time I uh, ask everyone to go to sixty two February March nineteen. Question number one. Okay, all of you, please read the first uh, page. There is a diagram. We have to go. Okay, it's about yes, what, yes. what is it, Miss? Sixty-two February March nineteen. Uh, would you please repeat it? Uh, question number okay. one. Okay, so I want you to read the question first. We have here a question regarding the reflection of light by a plane mirror. Okay, if you just look at the diagram, they have given us a trace uh, ray trace sheet in full size and then they told us to measure the angle theta. So those who are uh, doing it now, could you just check, Nureen, could you check what is the uh, angle that you found there? I want you to check, please. Yes, Nureen. This is thing from the laptop. Uh, okay, uh, so Nureen, is it possible for you to check the, oh, you are checking on the screen. You don't have the printer with you? Miss, I have no, a Miss, uh -huh. I have the paper and I got the value 24. Uh, 24 you got? Okay. Uh, uh, miss, uh -huh. Miss, uh -huh. what year are we talking about? Uh, which year? 19. 62 February, March 19, 2019. Yes. So, uh, as Adina said, she got 24. But, uh, you know, when I did it, I got it 23. So, it, it might be uh, a small difference. So I think we can take that one, 23 or 24. Both can be the correct answer. Okay. Okay. So Nureen, are you there? Could you tell me how much you got there? Yes, Nureen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Now, uh, just have a look. After that, you go to question number A2. Draw a normal to line AB. Hmm. AB at point M. And extend the normal to line CD. Okay. Is there anyone who has already completed this particular question? Yes, miss. Okay. Uh, and the label the point at which the normal crosses the line CD with the letter L. Then it will be kind of a horizontal line from N L. And the L will be almost in front of the lamp. If you just look at the diagram, girls, you'll understand. Adina, did you find it like that? Yes, but, uh, it, it came almost it in came front of the lamp. Exactly. Okay. Then they say in part B of the question, the student places a plane mirror on the line E F. And the screen with a uh, two millimeter slit. Okay, guys, do you know what is the slit? 
No. Okay, it is actually like uh, on the screen. Okay, they said here, may on the line and screen. On the screen, there will be a cut. Think about with a knife. If you just scratch it, then that is called a slip. Means through that. Yes, dear. Yes. Must have downloaded the paper. Okay. Uh, are we doing question number B? Yeah, question number one B we are doing now. So I was explaining what okay. is a slit to you. I told you that uh, the screen that we are having, think about a thick uh, cotton. Normally we use as a screen. On that, with a, uh, with a knife, if you just cut it in the middle, just a one scratch, then you'll find a gap. That gap is known as a slit. Through that, the light can pass. Okay. Now you just look at this one. After that, they say, state and explain whether point P, if you just look at the diagram point P shown in the figure, is at a suitable distance from point N for this investigation. So if you just look at it, the point P, which is kind of a bit far, isn't it? Girls? It is yes. A, yes, it's making a light. So we have to write it in the statement as no. The statement will be no. And what is the possible explanation? We have to say the point that the, to be, yes. the point P will not meet yes, the array of light. Yes, as or, or we can say one more thing that the distance should be more than five centimeters from N. If you just look at it, N and P is having uh, around like I think uh, three to four centimeters, not even five. It has to be more than five. Okay, because if you remember, we always discussed that the two pins that we're keeping, it should be always a five centimeter apart from each other. Okay, so now they say to draw a line joining N and P. N and P you join and extend it until it meets the line CD. And there you'll be giving a uh, name to the point where it meets CD, that is a G. Okay, so now, uh, is there someone who has already finished this diagram? And could you tell me how much you got the length of this uh, LG? 8.5. 8.5. Okay, fine. It can be correct because for me it came out 9.5. It depends on the particular diagram, isn't it? The way we download, you know, the diagram keeps on changing according to the uh, percentage that we put when we are you know, taking the printout. Okay, so the original paper might be something else. We don't know, but we'll follow our diagram the way we found it. So I got 9.5 and you got 8.5. So we can continue like that. Now, they told us that we have to draw a graph. Just turn the page, you'll find there's a grid given to us. And they say you have to place A, that is the quantity in centimeter. You have to place in the y-axis and theta, that is in degree, the angle has to be in the x-axis. Okay, and then you have to draw a graph. Now, I want someone to tell me who has already completed this diagram, what possible shape was the graph that you found there? Is it a curve? I got a curve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it will be a curve. It will not be a straight line. And if you join from the origin, uh, even though they didn't tell us to start from the origin, but if you look at the values, 5 and the minimum value 1.8 for A and degree is 5 degree. So we can start from origin. And then you'll get a curve which will be inclined to the y-axis. Is it like that, Adina? Yes, yes. Okay, fine. Uh, what about the others, Noreen? So, okay. Miss, will I join the origin too? Yes, yes, yes. You can. No problem. Okay. Then what did they say in question number E? Suggest a possible way, possible source of inaccuracy in this experiment, even if it is carried out carefully. The readings oh. may not be accurate. But which readings you are talking about here? Um, the length mm. of A. Okay, the length of A. Yes, no, that one we are mentioning, right? So I think there will be not difficulty, no difficulty about it. Yes, Noreen, actually we, could, we can't hear you at all. Yes, I think... Uh, okay. Now, yes, Noreen, now I could hear you. Could you say again? Um, okay, yeah. no, I guess the, the problem with my earphones are just... Yeah, them. okay, okay, but I could hear you right now. It's okay, then, I can hear you. Okay, now listen to me. Just, okay, girls, uh, I can see I have only 11 uh, students today, but it was supposed to be 15. Then who's missing? I think Sarah is not there. Sanjeev, I... Nuzaima. I've seen her. 
And uh, yeah. even oh no no Zaima is here. Is it okay? If if yeah. he's here, then I can't see uh, Sanjida. I haven't seen her. Orpa is here. I can see. Sarah but, and Sanjida. Uh, yeah, Sarah and Sanjida. I can't see. Even Fatima. Uh, what's her name? Fatima Amin and Amina Islam. They are also not Amina here, right? Here. Amina is here. Amina, are you here? Amina is here. Yes, oh. yes, yes. Okay, fine. But Fatima Amin, I can see. Uh, but Wait, Fatima, uh, she can come because she's having a headache. Oh, okay. 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 Now, but Sorry. even though it was supposed to be 15 for me, but I can see three more girls. Okay. It's not 12. Yeah, that's what. Only 12, I can see. Okay, fine. Let's continue, girls. Uh, as I said, that what could be the possible inaccuracy in question number A? Now, do you remember how did they perform the practical? We had a slit on the uh, screen. Isn't it mentioned in the question, girls? Yes, yes. It's, yes, it's yes. supposed to be a point, right? No, no, no. It can, it can be a slit, no problem. But the light ray that is coming through was thick. Okay, so we couldn't mark the position accurately. So we can write light ray was thick enough to mark position correctly. Was not thin enough, also you what? can mention. Light ray was thick enough. What is it, Miss Again? Light ray was thick enough to mark thin thick. enough. Thick, thick, not thin. Thick. It was very thick. Thick, thick enough. Thick enough to mark position accurately. So Miss, how, how do we mark position, position accurately? Because we made the slit, right? When the slit is not thin, definitely more light will come and it will give a, uh, like a blur image. It will not give us a thin image. So that's why it became a wrong position. Okay. Okay. Now, to mark position accurately, right, Miss? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Now, come okay. to F. A student wishes to check if his values for A are reliable. That is how he could improve the experiment using the same apparatus to check the reliability of the result. Okay, this one we can always write down. Repeat with other reflected rays below NL. All of you look at the diagram, go back, NL. NL was the line that we drew in between the screen and the mirror. Remember this line we drew initially, NL? Those who have completed the diagram, you can follow me nicely. Athena? What is, yes, what is the sentence again, Miss? Repeat with other reflected ray below NL at same angle and take average. Below Just, NL. Um, repeat with other reflected ray below NL. Reflected ray. Hmm. Reflected ray below NL at same yes. angle and take same average. Way. Yes, and take average. Miss, I wrote by repeating the experiment of you and taking an average reading. But did you mention about the ray? It has to be below NL? No, no, I'll no. mention it now. No, that one has to mention because you know, the first one you got above, the second one if you do, it will definitely go below. So that you can make mm -hmm. an average because you have to have the same angle. If mm -hmm. you take it on the same side, it will come on the same line, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, fine. That is why you have to mention, you have to go to the other side. Okay. So the ray needs to be below NL? Yes, below NL at same angle. That also you have to it. remain the same, continuous, or remain constant. Okay, now, uh, if you are done with that, I will go to question number two now. Are you ready, girls? Shall I proceed to number two? Yes, yes. Okay, very good. Yes. Miss, I can't hear you. Uh, is it okay now, girls? Hello. Hello. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Now listen to me. Uh, as I said, now we we'll go to question number two. It is about the thermal physics question. Students are investigating how the use of a lid or insulation affects the rate of cooling of hot water in a beaker. They are, uh, they use the apparatus in the diagram. They showed us, they put one lead as well as uh, another one placed an insulation around the beaker. 
And then they told us, record the room temperature theta r as shown in the thermometer. So, mm, Noreen, I can see your mic is on. So, could you tell me what is the temperature there showing by the thermometer? Um, 3 degrees Celsius. 23 degrees Celsius. Yes, fine. Good. It's 23 degrees Celsius. Okay. Now you come to part B. Uh, they gave us 100 centimeters cube of hot water is four in beaker A. Okay. That is the practical. Now they're asking to complete the headings and the time column in the table 2.1. So what is the column heading that you wrote? It's seconds, degrees Celsius and degrees Celsius. Okay, fine. Good. Now, in the time column, uh, what are the uh, other values that you have written there? 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180. It's written in the question, right? Okay, Obviously. Fine. Yes, it is written in the question. Only we have to just write it over there one more time on the page. Done. Now, just turn the page. We will go to the next part of the question, part C. Now, before that, I want you to check one more thing. That here, what actually we are doing? We are taking the effectiveness of insulation and a leak. We know that both of them are you know, actually used to reduce the heat loss to the surroundings, isn't it? So they are asking, write a conclusion stating whether the insulation or the lead is more effective in reducing the cooling rate of water in the beaker in this experiment. Justify your answer by the student. Okay. So if we just look at the table, from the table I can come to the conclusion. Means the lead is more effective. How did I get? I got the answer like that. But I, I got it by subtracting the initial and the final temperature. Initial and the final. So 83 minus 68.5 gave me 14.5, which is actually with insulation. And with the lead, I got it 7.5 degrees Celsius. Okay. In beaker B, it was with the lead. So definitely the lead is more effective because it showed us the temperature drop less than uh, uh, the container A or less than the beaker A. Isn't it, girls? Yes, miss. Okay. So actually you will be writing the answer in a way that the lead is more effective than in beaker A, delta theta means temperature change. So the calculation 83 minus 68.5 equals to 14.5. In the beaker, lid is more effective. Yes, comma. In beaker A, delta theta equals delta theta equals then show the calculation 83 minus 68.5 equals to 14.5. 118. 118. Uh, 83 minus 68.5 equals to 14.5 we got only. Right? Yes, miss. Yes. yes. Okay, then show again in B for B. Sorry, miss. In B for B. Okay. In B for B, you can show the difference 86 minus 78.5, that is 7.5 degrees. I am getting all this value from the table there. Okay. Yes, miss. Okay. So then, you can see that in uh, part B, means in beaker B, we got only 7.5, which is much, much smaller than 14.5, the one we got in beaker A. Okay, so you can write 7.5 smaller than sine 14.5, which is more effective. That's the answer. So is it clear now, guys? Yes, miss. Okay, fine. So let's go to the... Uh, other part, okay, part G, yes, okay, now Rahma, are you there? Rahma? Could you follow me? I can't see whether you have your uh, microphone with you. I can't see that, but could you follow me, dear? Okay, 
Now let's proceed to the next part of the question, part D. They say, one student thinks that the experiment does not show how effective insulation is on its own or effective or how effective a lead is in, on its own. Means we did the practical separately with the insulation one time and with the lead one time. So we want to know who will be the best among these two. For that, what we need to do, you know, we have to have a practical or we have to repeat the experiment with both of them on. And then we can show the difference between this. They're asking, explain how the additional results could be used. They're asking to have an additional experiment that will ensure which one is more effective. Here we did the practical separately. We didn't do it together. Okay, so we want to, we want to do it together. Yes, okay, fine, now listen. So when we are going to do the practical together, we say additional experiment, what will it be? can be performed with both insulation and lead. Okay, guys, we are going to perform the experiment with the insulation and the lead together. Then, what is the explanation behind it? We have to write, compare this result with the previous result and then draw conclusion. Means we had the previous two experiments with one time with only the lead and one time with only the insulation. So when we have the practical with both of them on, means with the insulation and the lead, then we can just compare in between these two. And then we can come to the conclusion who is the best among uh, this insulation or it with uh, the lead, which is more effective in stopping heat transfer to the surroundings. Okay, guys? So what will be the answer? Additional experiment you'll be writing can be performed with both insulation and lead. Then explanation can be, did you write an answer, girl? Yes, miss. Fine. So the explanation is, compare this results with the previous result and draw conclusion. And draw Excuse conclusion. Me, miss. Yes, dear. Miss, I've actually missed one answer, like it's back in 1B. So would you mind, like after finishing it, like answering me that question? Yeah, sure. Which, which part you didn't write? Tell me. That's 1B. I missed the statement. Okay, just I one. wrote the just. I couldn't write the justification. Okay, one B statement. You yes. wrote no. Yes. Okay, then write down the explanation quickly. Distance should be more than. Sorry, five miss. Distance should be. Distance should be more than five centimeter from N. More than five centimeter from N. And thank you. You are welcome, yeah. Okay. From M. Yes, yes, yes. That means that Thank is the you. middle point of the uh, mirror. That is the one. Okay, guys. Now, I think we are done with question number two. No, there's a F here. Okay, I didn't notice. There you have to draw a circle. No, okay. Let me just see. I think it got mixed up. Okay, now we'll be having question number three. Miss. Yes, yes. So this is E here. We do have a uh, Miss, if uh, this. In additional experiment, uh, means explanation, what did you say? The previous conclusion? Okay, I let me repeat. Compare this result with the previous result and draw conclusion. And draw okay, conclusion. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, now you come to question number three. It's a, a current electricity question. So I am giving you one minute to read out the first part, what we are doing. Miss, what about question number E? I did it now. D and no, Miss, it's, it's uh, okay. One no. minute, yeah. Okay, one minute. Yeah, I think my page, pages got mixed up. Let me just check. Uh, oh, yeah, I think I got it now. Page no, seven. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I got it now. Yeah, let's do it. E first. I forgot actually. My pages got upside down that time. Okay, now I got this. Okay, check E. That is question number two E. Calculate XA. The average cooling rate for beaker A, they gave us the equation. So you can start doing it. XA equals to for you, theta 0 means initial temperature. That was 83. And theta 180, that was 68.5 divided by 180. That was the time taken for it. So then check what's the calculation coming up. 0 0.0815. It keeps going like that. Okay, okay. So let us make it 0 0.082. Okay. 
degree uh, Celsius per second. Degree Celsius per second, right on the unit, because for the unit you will be getting one mark. Okay, girls, is it done? Shall I proceed to uh, C2 now? Yes, yes no, I did not listen. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll, okay, let me repeat. Nihab, is that Nihab? Yes. Yes, okay, let us do it. I said XA equals to the equation they have given to us in the first trend, we have to just substitute the values. That is 83 minus 68.5 from the table we are getting all of it, divided by 180. Then you are, after doing the calculation, you will be getting 0 0.082. You need to be degree Celsius per second. Degree Celsius per second. Okay. Miss, what, which question are we doing right now? This is question number E. 2E, E1. 2E1. Okay. That is page number 7. You are taking. Okay. Now let's go to E2. I'm having this bad internet connection. Okay. Uh, E2. Students in another school are carrying out this experiment using identical equipment. Means they're doing in the same process. State why they should make the initial temperature of water in the same as the experiment if they are to obtain average cooling rates that are the same from the table. Assume that the room temperature E2, E2 we're talking about here. Read the first chair. Oh, oh no, miss, I'm not, uh, I'm sorry, I'm not talking to you. It's some problems in my phone. Oh, okay. okay, okay, fine. Listen. So let's continue because in 10 minutes, I'll send you another link. We'll be continuing. Okay. So let me. Okay, miss. Yes, miss. Yeah. Miss, Thank are you me? talking fast? Yes, dear. Alias? Uh-huh. Alias, say again, I couldn't hear you. Miss? Yeah. Are you, to are you talking fast? No, miss, dear. Miss, are you talking fast? No, dear. You want me to slow down? <laughs> I'm speaking slowly. I don't know how it works. But to speak. No, miss, it's so weird. It's because of the internet connection. Oh, oh yeah, it can be. Sorry, no, it's like Miss it. speeded up. <laughs> no, I can't help you, dear. <laughs> what to do? These are technical problems. Okay, let's continue. Uh, they say, use the results from Beaker A to explain why this factor should be controlled. They said, you have to make sure that the room temperature is same. Now, first of all, why it is uh, we need to do it? First of all, we are going to write down the statement as to have a fair comparison because cooling rate increases at higher temperature. Did you understand, girls? Write down the point, I'll explain to you. The statement will be to have a fair comparison. Yeah, I'm saying, please copy. To have a fair comparison because cooling rate increases at higher temperature. Means the water or the liquid that you're taking, it has to have the same initial temperature. Think about uh, in the room, I have 23 degrees Celsius temperature and have taken a liquid of uh, 70 degrees Celsius temperature. So the difference between these two temperatures will denote how much heat energy will be lost to the surroundings. But if you take 50 degrees Celsius of temperature when you're doing the practical in another school, then it can never have the equal uh, explanation or equal uh, comparison. There will be no fair comparison. That is why we are going to say the statement will be to have a fair comparison because cooling rate increases at higher temperature. Clear? Okay. And what could be the ex ex explanation I'm giving you now? In the explanation part, you'll just write down. Comparison for the first 30 seconds or the last 30 seconds will be fair. Because initial and the final, that gives the idea for this one. Miss comparison for last 30 seconds? First for 30 seconds or the last 30 seconds will be fair. Because the condition remains the same, that is why. Comparison for the first 30 seconds or the last 30 seconds will be fair. Okay, I think we are done with question number two. Right, girls? Okay, yes. Miha, yeah, Miha, could you complete question yes. number two? Could you say uh, yes. with the last 30 seconds okay. will be? Will be, okay, one minute here. Yeah. Uh, will be fair because we want to have a fair comparison, right, Amina? Fair. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, fine. Now yes, come to question number three. 
Uh, now, if we just look at it in question number three, they gave us a circuit. It's about current electricity. Okay, so all of you just have a look at the circuit, the circuit that they have given to us and let's see what is written there. A student is investigating a resistance wire. She uses the circuit as shown in the figure. Okay, we can see we have a crocodile tape, we have a resistance wire, and an emitter, a power supply, and a switch. So they are asking us that on the figure, draw a voltmeter connected to measure the potential difference V across the terminal P and Q. Now, is there someone who has already shown that voltmeter on the diagram? Yes, but Okay. Uh, where did you place it actually? It's parallel to the circuit. Uh huh. Means it is actually you from point. It is say from point P to point Q. Q. Okay. Fine. Yeah, that is correct. Down. Yes, yes, yes. That is correct. From P to Q, you can draw a straight line because it has to be in parallel, right? We know that when yes, you're placing a voltmeter, it has to be in parallel. So you'll use the symbol like the way we did a circle and a V in between, isn't it? Okay. Now. After this check, the student connects the crocodile tape to a length of uh, at least 90 centimeter of the resistance wire and measures the potential difference V across the terminal P and Q and the current I in the circuit. Record these values from the diagram on the table. Now, I want Nizaima, are you there? Yes, miss. Yes, Nizaima. Did you complete this question? Do you have it in front of you? No. Uh -uh. Then who's having Nureen or Mehreen? Do you have? Okay. I can see Sarah joined us. Sarah, are you there? Do you have this question with you now? Okay. I'm not sure she's there. Okay. Let me see. Uh, okay. Sarah, could you hear us? Okay, now, uh, is there someone who can tell me what is the voltmeter reading that is shown on this diagram? 2.6. Is it 2.6? 2.6. Yes, yes, yes. 2.6 is the correct answer. 0.3. Oh, no, yes. 0.3. 0.36 is the emitter. 0.36. Yeah, yeah, fine. Both answers are correct. Uh, voltmeter was 2.6 and the emitter was 0.36. 0.36. Yes, fine. If you do the calculation for R, you check R equals to V by I. What's the answer coming up from there? Yes, yes. Uh, if you do the calculation, I got it 7.22. Did it match with your answer? 7 yes, it did. Oh, yes, ma'am. Okay, very good. Now, uh, after that, we have to do one more thing, that is R by L. And the length was corresponding, length was 90. So we are supposed to divide 7.22 by 90. Right? Okay, fine. Could you tell me what is the answer that you found after dividing? Miss, I, I, I got 0 0.08. Fine, very good answer, 0 0.08. Now, you have to complete the table. Means there are two other values for L, 60 and 40. I'm giving you time, just do it and then we can continue from there. Let's check what are the values coming up. I hope you have your calculator with you now. Alpha, are you there? Alpha, are you following our class? Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, fine. So, girls, how much you got there for 60, uh, length of 60 centimeter wire? R was? 0.08. Yes, fine, good. And then? Miss, uh, like for the uh, R, R, R by L, it's all 0 .0 0 0.08. In fact, it is. The last one, I got 0 0.081. It's okay. That's Miss, could good. you please mind repeating the answer for E1? Like 2E1? Uh, 2E1, where are you here? Two E one. Hold on. Let me check. Just the answer, Miss, because I missed it before. 
Okay, two E one answer is zero point zero eight one degrees Celsius per second. The unit is important. Zero point zero eight one one degree Celsius per second. Okay, miss. Okay. Yes, miss. Okay, fine. Now let's come yes. back to three uh, C D. No, three C. I think we are done with three C. Uh, yeah, Alia was saying correct. All the values came out around zero point zero eight zero, zero point eight zero. 0.081, the last one I got like that. But even though all of them are of 0.08 order, right? So now just take D, use your result in the table 3.1 to calculate the resistance R25 of a 25.0 centimeter length. So R by L is actually the resistance for one centimeter. So I can just multiply with 25 and get the answer for 25 centimeter length of wire. Isn't it good? Didn't understand, Miss. I'll tell you again. Listen, uh, R by L, the one that we have calculated, and we got around zero point zero eight for all the values, is actually yes. the resistance per centimeter, right? Mm. So for D, if I just multiply with twenty five, then I'll get the answer because they are asking me to find out the length of twenty five centimeter. Yes, Miss. Okay, fine. After doing, uh, someone tell me what's the answer that you found there. Mm. Miss, multiply with what? Uh, zero point zero eight zero multiply with twenty five centimeter. They wrote it on the first one. Miss, is it two? two. Miss, is yes. it two? Yes, two. yes, good. Yeah, two Hello, ohms. Zero point zero eight multiplied by two. Hello. Yeah. Okay, guys. Now, uh, let's go to three uh, D. Now. Okay. Uh, in three D, I can say they told us that just one reason uh, why. Different students carrying out the experiment carefully with the same equipment may not obtain identical results. So, could you suggest me that what could be the possible uh, differences between their exam experiment that they got a different different answer? You can suggest me your own answer, girl. What do you think? That what has uh, the thing that is done by the students went wrong so that they got a different answer? They didn't get a uh, get errors in. Mm -hmm. Errors. What type of error they have? Uh, um, they did not switch of the circuit in between, oh, and the temperature oh. increased or resistance increased. Mm -hmm. Okay, but did you notice one thing, girls? That there was a uh, crocodile tape used in between the resistance wires. To uh, yes, that is the problem actually that happened here. I'll tell you why. Uh, you know the crocodile tape. If you just look at the diagram, it has a it has a certain width. Did you notice? Yes, yes, yes. So when we are measuring the length, we actually couldn't measure the length L properly. So we can write down this one as it was difficult to judge the contact between the wire and the crocodile tube. That is the problem we have actually. So what means difficult to adjust? No, difficult to judge. Judge okay. the contact. Judge the contact between wire and the crocodile clip. Because when you place the crocodile tape, you don't know where it is uh, the middle point. So it was kind of like uh, we are just uh, thinking that okay, it is there, but it might not be there. So that is the mistake we have there. So it was difficult to judge the contact between wire and crocodile clip. Is it okay now, guys? Yes, Miss. Okay. So let's proceed to question number F. It is about a diagram that we have to draw. I want you to read one time and then I think you can manage to do that. The student finds that during the experiment, the wire becomes hot because of a high current. She decides to use a variable resistor to prevent it. Okay, now someone tell me, why do we actually use a variable resistor in a circuit? So that we can vary the resistance, change okay. the resistance. Yes, to vary the current by changing the resistance of the circuit. So, if more current is passing, then what we should do in the resist uh, in this real step? It should be decreased. Decreased by increasing the resistance in the real step. Yes. Got it? Yes. Fine. So let us write down the answer. Uh, diagram. You have to draw the diagram with everything that is given on the previous diagram, but you have to add the variable resistance. So I want. I'm giving you a time. You can roughly draw on your paper now. 
is there someone who has already finished drawing this diagram could you tell me how did you join the uh, variable raised or the real stat in your diagram how did you did the connection with means i just loosely drew a wire mm -hmm. and then connected a resistor um I don't know how to say this. No, first you tell me. Did you connect it uh, with the main uh, supply or the power supply in series or yes, in yes. parallel? Is in, it in uh, series or parallel? parallel? It's in parallel. No, it's not in parallel. It's in series. It has to be in series, dear. Yeah? Always remember. Oh, it's in series. Yeah, variable resistor should be connected in the circuit in series. So from the power supply you can draw, and then it will come to the uh, the process uh, that way. Uh, what do we call that one? That is the crocodile tube. Then from there it will come to the crocodile tube, and the rest of the thing will be there. So it will not be a problem. It has to be in series. First of all, you have to remember that. Okay. So I think we are done with this diagram. After yes, that, sir. yes, very good. Let's go to the planning question now. Miss, we did the planning question, right? I remember in the class. Yes. Thank you for reminding me. Are we? Okay. I did it with the class. Well. Hmm. So shall I go to this uh, main room sixty one now and take the other part of the question? Okay. Should you open sixty one? Yes. Miss sixty one major nineteen. Yes, yes. Sixty one major nineteen. Okay. Now uh, I'm waiting. All of you, please Let's open the there. yeah. All of you open the first page, and we have question number one there. Sixty-one major nineteen, right, Miss? Yes, sixty-one major nineteen. Question number one. It is about a general physics question regarding a meter rule balancing on a pivot. Right, guys? I hope you found the question. Okay. Now, if you just look at it, uh, there is an experiment going on regarding the balancing method, and they are trying to find out the weight of the meter. Rule. Okay, and they placed uh, the pivot in a certain place, and they put a load, uh, a certain load, uh, on the ninety centimeter mark, and then they are saying that it is balanced now. But we know that according to the moment uh, formula, that it will only get balanced if there is a clockwise and anti-clockwise moment is there. So we can understand that uh, if you look at the diagram, there is a distance d drawn with a double arrow. That it goes from fifty centimeter to the pivot, right, guys? So it means that fifty centimeter mark is the position where actually the weight of the meter rule is going to act, and it will be acting downwards. And as it is acting downwards, it is going to provide us the clockwise moment. Okay, fine. So now they have uh, listen, they have done with the practical, right? And then they gave us a table where they wrote the distances regarding A and B. Okay. After writing these distances, they are asking us to draw a clock, or, or to plot a graph, to draw a graph or plot a graph, and they gave us the blue dots. Now, uh, actually, I'm not sure how many of you have already finished the uh, this uh, the graph. Is there anyone who has yes, done. done? Okay. Then, what is the pattern of the graph? Could you tell me, dear? It's a straight line. There are two points which didn't come. in the line yes it will be like this actually we will not expect all the lines to be all the points plotted points to be on the uh, line It means we call it a discrete line that is why we always try to locate or trace the first one and the last one and then try to join the line in between the points might come closer or might not even come closer to the line so we don't need to worry about that it has to be a uh, discrete line okay then in part okay Is there anyone who is trying to plot the graph now, or you have already finished? Alia, as you are following my class, did you complete? Miss, I am using um my phone. Oh, okay. I can't actually draw. No, you can. <laughs> If you have the printout in your hand, then you could draw. Okay, fine. If no, Miss, I don't have the printout. I am. I don't have the printout. Okay, fine. Then, then I hope you are writing on a paper so that later you can follow that. Yes, miss. Yes, miss. I am writing. Very good. So now, in part B, they told us to find out the gradient g of the graph. Okay, to find out the gradient g. So, what was the method that we used to find out the gradient of the graph? Gradient graph. No. 
that's uh, that's equation y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x2 yes that is the gradient we are finding out but what is the method we call it a triangle method alpha are oh, you yes. there i want to hear from you are you following my class alpha hello alpha are you there uh hi miss okay how are you I'm fine. I'm from the How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm doing fine. I couldn't hear anything from you. That's why I was thinking, are you following or not? Oh no, Miss, I am following. But like right. I'm doing it on the laptop. So okay, very good. Now, Alpha, uh, do you remember the triangle method that we discussed in the class? Um, miss, I cannot hear you. Wait. Uh... Okay, the triangle method I'm talking about here. Uh, when we are measuring uh, or finding out the gradient of a graph drawn, uh, there was a certain thing I told you that you have to remember that yes. how. Uh, yes. What is the length of the uh, line that we're going to take for the triangle? We'll go for the perfect squares. Right? Yes, yes, yes. As well as you remember, you're going to cover more than half of the line that you drew. You remember yes. that. Okay, fine. Very good. So now, uh, I don't know who has completed finding out G. What was the value of G that you found there, girl? Mm. Is there Adina? Adina, did you complete the diagram and tell me what was the value that you got there? Miss, uh, for gradient, I got 1.1. Okay, no, that's the correct value. In fact, 1.1 to 1.5, you can say, because it keeps on varying, but there's a certain range always to be given to you. So, okay, you can compare your results. So, it's the correct answer, 1.1. Then, uh, when you're finding out C, they said you have to find out the Weight of the meter rule by using the expression that you want equals to G into T. So, what is your answer there? 1.1 Newton. Newton. That's the correct answer. Okay, fine. Now, go to um, part D. Suggest one practical reason why it is difficult to obtain accurate readings for A and B in these type of experiments. It is difficult to balance. Yeah, it is a common one. We can write for any. Uh, pivot question that it is difficult to achieve exact balance of A and B on the meter board because these are the two distances we are measuring after balancing the meter board. Isn't it? Yes. Okay, fine. Now I want you to turn the page and go to part E of the question. E. Yes. Now you tell me what you wrote the answer in, in that part. I'm a from, it's, it's from the, the uh, 65 grams. It's from the yeah, question. the question is interesting. But you are not going to write that. They say write in the mass. They said. And you have to. Yeah. It says so, nearest yeah. gram, so it will be 112.7. No, dear. Yeah. No, yeah. Is it 113? 113? Correct answer, yeah. It is 113. Because point seven it comes up, which you have to go to the next whole, uh, whole number, 113 gram. Because they say it nearest gram. Okay, fine. Mama, Baba, Now, you go to... Okay, first, yes, they say, calculate the weight, W, of the meter rule by using the expression W2 equals to mg. Okay, 1130. Who said that, Ansa? Me. Oh, it's wrong. Yes. Because it says kg. You have it's to divide. Unless it's 1.13, yes. right? It's 1.13. Yes. Yes, 1.13, yeah. that is the answer. Because you have to understand, they get, you got the value yes, in gram. Yes, you have to convert it into kg and then you have to get the uh, W2. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I noticed it later. Yeah, fine, done. Now, check F2. Can you explain whether this value W2 can be considered equal to the value of W1? Okay. Obtain yeah. and yes. Okay. You found it almost. Yes, yes. We can conclude that because the difference is small, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And within the limit of experimental experimental accuracy. Yeah, you have to mention that also. That's really important to us. Okay. So I think we are done with question number one. Right, girls? Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Yes. Okay. Yeah, fine. Let's go to question number two. Hmm. And if you take look at question number two, it is actually a current electricity question. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, Lizana, do you have this big MP2 now? Miss, I can't hear you. Do you have or not? Miss, I cannot hear you. Okay. Do you have this big and the one we are following now that is 61, 19, 19? Miss Samia? Yes, here. 
do you have any internet connection problem or something because i hear you but your voice is kind of uh, I slurred or something i don't know i'm speaking up loudly and it's so i know you're speaking you're speaking loud but it's slurred like it's kind of yeah, i don't know yeah because <laughs> it's a wifi connection it's clear like you're loud me. but you you're I loud but you your words are not clear but some of the students could hear me loud and clear i don't know it might be in between your side and my yes, side yes i can yeah that is what even i can hear alia very clear okay uh, let's continue uh, we all <laughs> can hear alia very clearly miss <laughs> <laughs> no she has a very sharp voice that's why it's okay let's continue so t a could you just look at the diagram and tell me what was the point i shown on the msf 0.47 0.47 Yes. Okay. Fine. That's correct. Now, yes. Zero point four seven. But don't forget to write down A ampere. Ampere. Yes. Otherwise, you are going to lose marks for that. It's very hard. Okay. Now, come to part B of the question. Hmm. Just look at it. The way we have given to us. That's nothing. We just have to divide. Listen. Yes. We have to just divide, and we we'll get the answer. Okay. Uh, if you are not done, uh, you can continue using the calculator and keep on doing. Otherwise, I can read out the answer. Okay. Yes, the it's better to read out the answer because it's nothing big to do. Yeah, yeah. So zero point zero two five, the first one, then zero point zero two three, the second one, third one, zero point zero two seven, then zero point zero two six, zero point zero two five. Sorry, two four is the last one. That is for one hundred. Okay, guys. Now let's go to part C. They say. Look carefully at the at the values of B by L in your table. Tick the box to show your conclusion from the result. Okay. So they say we have to tick a box. If you just look at them, all the values are kind of very close. Yes, yes. Miss. Yes. So it's approximately constant. Exactly. Exactly. We can write approximately. B by L is approximately constant. Okay. Now come to the next point, part of the question C two. Justify your conclusion by reference to your result. So we can just say the values of B by L are close and within the limit of experimental accuracy. That's the answer for this one. Here we can say the difference is point one, point two. So it is really close and within the limit of experimental accuracy. Accuracy. Hmm. Okay. Fine. Done. Now come to part D. Calculate the resistance of 100 centimeter of the resistance wire using the equation R equals to B by I. So they have given us the values here: 100 centimeter resistance wire. So 100 centimeter, that was the value we found. Centimeter, so we can see there. Okay, and we get the unit. Okay, so R equals to B by I. V was for 100, it was 2.4. If you just look at the table, you'll understand. And then. Uh, I I if you just look the I they gave us initially means the one we calculated or show we read out from the meter that that was zero point four seven so if we divide we are getting five point one one zero isn't it five point one one zero right girls I didn't get you miss I'm sorry R equals to B by I that is the equation we already gave to us and if we just yes, look at the table. For 100 centimeter, the reading of voltmeter was 2.4. Isn't it? Yes. That one has to be divided by the ammeter reading that we uh, found initially on the first page. That is 0.47. Yes. Yes, fine. So just divide it, and you'll get the answer. So it's 2.4 divided by 0.46 for seven. Yes, yes, exactly. Then the answer will come up 5.11. 5.11. Yes. So we can just write them five ohms, no problem. Because point one, we can only. Okay. So then come to the next part. In this type of experiment, it is sensible to keep the temperature of the resistance wire as close to room temperature as possible. So this one way you can do this. You can stop the temperature rise. How can you do that? We can. Hmm. Darken the room or something? No. No, switch up the circuit in between when um in between experiments. Very good. In the experiment. In between right. the readings, you should rather say switch up the circuit in between the readings. That's the correct yes. answer. Yes. Okay. Because you are not going to apply or you are not going to flow the current for a long time as long as it takes for you to complete the experiment. You will just switch off in between the. Now, switch up the circuit in between the readings. Yes, that's the correct answer. Now, yes. do F 
drop a circuit symbol of the variable resistor. I think you can do that. Right, girl? Yes. Okay. So now, uh, since we have... How do we do D? D? Okay, let me see. D, right? Yeah, the calculation look. Again, R equals to D by I, that is the equation, isn't it? So they told us that it is actually 100 centimeter wire. So if you just look at the table for 100 centimeter, the uh, voltmeter reading is 2.4. Isn't it? Uh, did you find very Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes, miss. Okay. I see it now. And then Sorry. the emitter reading was on the first page that when we were doing the practical, it was 0.47 on the first page. Yeah, I can do the rest, Miss. Thank yes. you. I couldn't find the voltage anywhere. I'm yeah. not even doing it on paper, so. Oh, okay, that is nice. Okay, fine, then. So, thus, since we don't have that much of time to start the next question, so is it like, can we do it in my next class? Because tomorrow onwards, I have yes. to continue three classes. So, yes, Miss. I can continue with 61, 18, 19, question number three. Miss, in the uh, F question, it's just we have to draw the sign of variable resistor. That's it, yes. right? Symbol, symbol, just the symbol, nothing else. Okay. You know that rectangular uh, shape yes, obviously. and then an arrow in the middle. Yeah. Yes. Of course, it, that is the one. Okay. 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 Now, tell me guys, as I'm going to continue from here tomorrow, I want to ask you a question. Uh, in the theory of full additive to syllabus, do you have any particular doubt in any particular topic, guys? Miss, physics is the only subject which I understand. The Miss, the whole syllabus. The whole syllabus. Thank you, Alia. Okay. Thank oh. you, Alia. You have my heart. Listen, Miss, yeah, you shouldn't say like that. We discussed a lot. We should do one thing. If Miss, you want you to discuss yes. a lot, but then I keep forgetting things and I don't understand questions. That the, that's the big problem. And I keep solving passwords. It doesn't help okay. me. I don't know what to do. No, you can do that. Don't worry. Inshallah, you can do it. But as I told you, keep on revising all the topics. If you have any particular topic for me to discuss with you tomorrow, give me a message on that particular topic. So I will be able to explain to you that particular topic. Okay. Miss, remember, Miss, remember you said that uh, we, uh, we'll, we will do this uh, revision on atomic physics and you, we yes, can yes. mark our doubts and then you'll explain yes, yes, us. Yes, inshallah. I actually, mar I actually marked my doubts, but then the school closed. Yeah, I know that. So do one thing. Why didn't you just mention two topics for me for tomorrow? So tomorrow class I can discuss. Can we discuss all the doubts in atomic physics tomorrow? Yeah, I think and Nurin wants. Yes. Nurin wanted to talk. Yes, say please. I oh. want to hear. Nurin, say. Uh, Miss, I I found this question in paper two. Mm -hmm. It had four diagrams. Uh -huh. So they asked something. Um, okay, one was with a variable resistor as mm -hmm. as in the rheostat, uh -huh. and the other diagram it uh -huh. was with a crocodile to clip the wire. We uh -huh. had. Uh -huh. So um, the okay, they asked which one is a better option. Like which one is better for variable to to vary the resistance. So the okay, the other two diagrams were something else, so they don't really matter. But okay. then in this in this too, the correct answer was with the wire and the crocodile clip. Why? So why not the why? variable okay. the real? Okay. Listen, yeah, I couldn't understand your question. Could you just take a photograph and send it to me in my uh, WhatsApp? So that I could check and tomorrow I'll give you the answer? Uh, yes, miss, I'll I have to send that question yeah, for all sure. that. Good. Okay. I'll wait for that. Don't worry. We'll solve it out. Okay. So let's do one thing first. So today I want to complete my class. And tomorrow, as uh, Anita was saying, she, uh, she's having some particular doubt on uh, thermal physics. Uh, sorry, uh, atomic physics, right? Didn't we revise atomic physics once? We did. Class. We did. But if she has some particular doubt, first 15 minutes I can give it to her for explaining her doubts. And then we can continue with the same paper six tomorrow. Huh? Twenty-nine minutes is complete. Miss, yes, dear. Miss, can I ask why do we have Islamic and South Asian classes? Actually, dear. <laughs> and I'm, Miss, I'm, Miss, it, Miss, Miss, syllabus. So we and have a teacher. Done, that's the question you're asking to physics teacher. Yeah, that's Miss. Right. Yes, dear. Yes, yes. Uh, Miss, why would why do we have one computer class? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah. I had the question okay. too. Okay, like, listen to me, dear. As you said, we'll inform uh, the uh, administration. Let's see what they are going to say about it. Because okay, what will we do in Islamic class? Inshallah, inshallah, I'll inform them. Okay, have a nice day, girls. Thank you, teacher. Tomorrow, I'll be again. Wa alaikum salam. Pray for all of us, okay? Thank you. Inshallah.